So I'm going through, it's, it's all crazy, it's all false, it's all a dream. And just first song, and I, you know, I pick out lyrics here and there, but every thought, a thought of you. And I guess I, you know, I wrote down the first question. What, what, what is faith? How, how do people, I guess, how do you define it? Do you, yeah. I don't. Uh, I sh- uh, maybe I should warn you. Um, I, um, when Michael asked, do you want to do an interview? You yeah. know, I said, well. I don't want to do an interview. I, um, I'm willing, but I don't prefer that. If anyone else is yeah. willing or able, um, okay. who might have some better insight into, yeah. you know, a, to an, a better way to answer your questions, and I, um, I might not have any answers that's, for your that's, questions. But that's fine. <laughs> but um, but that one definitely uh, faith. I don't know. Yeah, what that is. I guess I w- always wonder when I hear faith. I think people put it into sort of religious terms. And I don't personally, you know, because I hope and think there's a God out there, but that doesn't necessarily mean that I'm Mr. Super Religious Guy, you know, because I, I'm, I'm afraid of boxing it in. And I'm also afraid of being associated with things and people that, that seem to me not open to, uh, uh, open, maybe is probably where I should finish that statement. Because I, I just wonder, is faith me driving down here and, and knowing that, or hoping that, or trusting that somebody isn't going to go across the road because they want to live too, and they don't smash me in the front of my car with the front of their car? And that's why I have faith to get down here and, and talk talk with you in microphones? Well, uh, it's a, um, faith is just is a word. And I'm not sure that any word has any sort of inherent meaning um it, it, yeah. you know just being like the way you wrote it it's just a couple of shapes there on a, right. on a piece of paper you know sure made out of ink yep um and or the or the sound you'd make when yep. you when you read that is faith you know but those are only sounds that your right your throat is, and your tongue and your lips and your mouth you know mm-hmm. your teeth are making yeah um so i don't think there's anything in an, in, in that word or in those shapes on the paper there yeah um to have any kind of concrete meaning um, but it, you know it's going to have certain uh, associations to your mind that you you know you it, for, yeah so like you said for you it might mean it gives you the ability to drive without being constantly anxious that someone's right. going to crash into you right. and for someone else it, it means you know if if you can't move a mountain from here to there you don't have any faith you know right right so, sure. so by that token probably nobody has any faith right you know right um but I'm not going to, uh, I, I couldn't say which one is the correct right. definition, you know. But you use words to, I guess you use words, I think, to communicate a feeling inside of you. So you use shapes and sounds of, of that to, whether it's, a, whether it's something therapeutic or freeing or just to be able to, to communicate with others. As seldom as possible yes <laughs> yes but you're doing it for a living and you've made a choice that you want to write down words and you want to sing them into a recorded microphone and you want to play in front of other people well this, I, you use a good word with that want you know you want to do these things and you have this sort of desire yeah uh, as, and you think if I could do this I'll feel happy and maybe you're correct for a while but then uh, the happy feeling runs out, and you, and you realize there's a whole lot of other feelings that ac- accompany that yeah. that you didn't expect. So you stop wanting it so much, and you say, "Well, this isn't truly what I want. This is what I wanted, but I don't want what I want anymore." Like, uh, so I've gotten myself into this job, and it's a cool job, but uh, it's got a stinger. You know? So I don't really want to do it. Uh, anymore necessarily hmm. uh, more like uh, willing if uh, if that's the way it's it's going to go down don't object yeah but I, I don't particularly feel the need to keep it going or to pursue it any further does that make sense i'm wondering what, what's the stinger well, um, it seems like either way, um, 
there's kind of a downside. Like you could, if you're saying something, you could say something really uh, insightful and that you think is helpful and yeah. and and wise or whatever you think, and then you you get to thinking. Uh, Wow, I just said something wise and helpful and insightful. Or, of course, if you say something that's hurtful and arrogant and and clouded and 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 divisive, then you're left with that. Mm -hmm. So it seems like uh, either way, um, my mind will get a hold of what I say mm -hmm. and uh, sort of torment me with it. You know, mm -hmm. so I found a lot more peace in in, in learning how to, you know, be, be quiet. Which doesn't lend itself to an interview, of course. Yeah, right. So right now, I'm, you know, it's, yeah. it's not going to work too well. <laughs> but do you mind me being quiet for a minute? Uh, no, no. Um, I I guess I think that in a way words. Are, are tools for us um, and and while it might be insightful and wise when you write it down and you think wow this is this really not only moves me but may move others but to somebody else it also might be divisive and and, and I just does every word or do 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 all do all lyrics kind of swing both ways and I've got this hammer in my hand that I think I'm pounding in the good, the good stuff, and somehow the claw, the hammer is hitting somebody in the back oh, of the yeah, head. Yeah, yeah. You know, and I'm not, I'm, I'm not sure how healthy it is for you or I to, because I'm, I'm a massive overthinker, and I don't love that about me. And I put my head on the pillow, and I think, and I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I don't love that, man. Yeah, yeah. And it hurts sometimes, when it should just be my wife will say something like, you know, it's, please, Frank give it up or don't worry about it or whatever it is, you know, and yeah, I don't know. I mean, do you kind of know what I'm, I don't even know if I'm asking a question other than how can we not be so hard on ourselves um, because of something that you, I guess you seem like a, a kind soul and you want to do what I think is good, whatever good means to us. Theoretically, it, I think it means something similar, I hope. <laughs> but But how can you go on and not overthink and not get to a point where you have to overthink words even before they come out of your mouth that's a great question um yeah it seems like there's a way of um uh, of speech happening that that isn't um dependent on uh thought or as you said agenda you know you i think you nailed it on the head there with saying like you don't come with any agenda you know mm. now that may or may not be true uh or to yeah. what it, you know to some but, extent yes you know? right exactly uh it, it may be truer than, than at certain times than others or that, whatever i'm you know? with you man. um but but it's a wonderful um exercise to to release our agenda to whatever extent um possible yeah. or to examine our agenda and say um why would I do this? You know, or right now, you know, why would I have? Why would I ex agree to do an interview with somebody yeah. who wants to ask me questions about lyrics um, that I don't claim ownership over? Mm -hmm. you know, it's like if you wanted to, ask, you know, interview someone about B the Beatles lyrics or something. Right, right. You know, I wouldn't be an appropriate um, okay. candidate. Okay. Um, and uh, there are times when I no more identify as the author of this stuff than, than you know, let it be or whatever okay. song. Um, so yeah. uh, I got to wonder, what's my agenda for accepting this to, to answer any of these questions or to claim to be qualified to answer any of these questions? And I have to say, well, I guess um, maybe so you'll write something about my band that'll make people aware of us, that'll make them, you know, listen to our music and maybe further our career right, right so right. somehow there's some selfish goal in there for me where like i'm going to benefit from sitting here with right, you right whereas what i would otherwise want to be doing is spray painting our bus right, or exactly. doing the caulk you know or eating dinner or whatever yeah nothing against you i, I hear you you know I hear so you. i had to examine the, the agenda and say well that's a, um that's a selfish agenda and it's not good you know mm -hmm. like you said the right. word good you know yeah. if we can use that word yeah. uh, mm -hmm. to mean anything it's like that doesn't seem good to me to, for me to want to just 
use your listeners to further my self, my career, you know? Right, right. So I had to say, well, to heck with that. Whoever's listening, don't bother, you know, buying our, our CD. Don't bother. You can, you know, listen to someone else's copy. You don't need to buy it. Right. You know? um, there's something better. There's a better reason for us to be coming together yes. than, um, than to further our record sales, you know? So those words, um, yeah, the words don't seem in and of themselves, whatever they are, if, if they were like, you know, real, real wise sounding like proverbs I, yeah. could, I could repeat or, mm-hmm. or if it was just gibberish, mm-hmm. um, um, you, that wouldn't make as big of a difference in, um, as, well, well, maybe I should ask, you know, would that make as big a difference as um, the way I speak, you know, or the, or the, the, you know, with the spirit that, that, yes. that I'm speaking with, yeah. or the spirit that's speaking, and whether I am, whether you feel kindness and, mm-hmm. and uh, gentleness and sincerity mm-hmm. uh, uh, and love, you know, f- from my heart, yeah. you know, and those are, those are tangible things you can kind of taste, right. even if they're not contained in the words. Um, but again, I'm not, in, don't feel in a state where I can really yeah. sh- um, shine with that. Uh-huh. So that's why it's good for me to retreat most of the time sure. and just listen and say, well, um, what's the correct way to conduct my life? You know, it's definitely not by using people yeah. uh, for record sales. Um, so, yeah, I guess the, the short answer is like the release, the, the re- complete release of our agenda. Yeah. And then allowing speech to happen. Mm-hmm. And then, um, in, you know, in, inviting wisdom to speak or inviting truth, mm-hmm. inviting truth to speak in our midst not like I'm going to tell you the truth but just let's you know let's open our hearts as one and let the truth kind of be um, be revealed in our coming together you know is is there a third party in our conversation then right now a truth that's trying to interject into our speech so we can become closer and become more one like or whatever I don't know if one likes necessarily the word I don't mean any other thing other than just to find our commonality between us as two human beings setting, you know, three feet apart. I mean, is there something else out there that's working? Not only, maybe it's, maybe it's a spirit just between us, but also maybe it's a spirit that is around us too. And not only, not only helps us connect within, but helps us, help, surrounds us with those words you were using, like peace and love and grace and, and, and goodness. I don't know. That's a good question. Yeah, because something can... I guess I think something connects all of us somehow, you know, and music might be the vehicle, words might be the ve- vehicle, silence might be the vehicle, right? You say with silence, my friend, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> so we don't, we don't want to use people to further your career per se, but do we want people to become more unified? together for some sort of common good is that maybe why you do this work because there is a work about it you know there is a, a vocation about it <clears throat> the, the, in my head the work goes on um, at times whether or not we want it to and uh, and in the clearer moments it's not because we want to unite people uh, we we bear witness to, the, um, to unity and acknowledge it already being complete uh, and, and, and perfect um, and we don't want anything um, then we forget that and we try to accomplish things like bringing people together um, but we don't need to do that uh, we, we see sometimes we don't need to do anything uh, we need to awaken to reality ourselves you know not not get anyone else to do anything does that make sense i'm 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 wondering what you meant by a, um what was the word you said i'm sorry cuz i had three things going in my head i'm really sorry about my add once in a while oh no no <laughs> it's a, it's all right um, witness the unity it, did did you say that i don't remember okay <laughs> <laughs> we got to check the, the well manuscript. I, the other thing that i was that i that i kind of my brain kind of went Wait a minute, because of what my dad stuck in me is, you need to accomplish this, just like you need to accomplish um, 
finishing painting the bus, you have a start point and an end point. And there is some accomplishment to that, right? And I wonder if, if you, when you say, well, we don't have to accomplish anything, but, I, but in my head I'm thinking, wait, we do have to accomplish things. So, so what do I mean by that question? <laughs> or what do you mean by the word accomplish, I guess, when, when, in, that, in that point that we were talking about? Well, I don't remember. Uh, I don't remember what I was saying uh, with all that. Uh, but it was like a. It was more like a, a pillow, and a blanket. Uh, for me, and I laid down in it, inside. Um, rather than, um, you know, taking the question on its terms you know saying well yeah, uh, okay uh, um, I'm not I tried for a long time to accomplish things be, uh, because I've because I looked outside in the world and saw so, so much the matter you know there's so much wrong I need to fix you know yeah. I had a real sense of being the one to do it you know because I know what everyone needs and then um, and then and then I got uh, my, my life got turned inside out and then um, and then I thought oh boy you know what um what if uh what if everything is perfect and um and then the way i see things is flawed maybe it, what i see as a flaw on the outside is is sort of a projection of the flaws within me and an opportunity to change my own heart so you know you see someone on the outside that's doing something oh that yeah. guy's selfish or that this lady is um is unkind or she's you know he's st- you know He's backbiting or anything, right. you know, anything that you'd see that's wrong, you know, that's unfair, that's unjust, that's cruel. Um, we could try to fix that and go and try and change others, you know, tell them, hey, that's wrong what you did, or, or, uh, or punch him in the nose, or what, you know, no, whatever yeah, right, it may sure, be. Right, you know? yeah. um, um, but all, all that is, uh, well, you can try. I mean, try that as long as you can. You know, try that until it's, you know, it's absolutely unbearable. If it ever becomes unbearable, trying to fix the world outside or, or overwhelming saying this world is too big and um and i'm not making any headway it just seems to be getting worse and i'm getting burned out um and i'm and i'm actually feeling you know feeling superior to others that i see are doing things wrong and i think i'm the good guy and they, they need to be fixed and i'm some kind of savior or a hero and if you ever think boy this is a dead end road you know this is absolutely not making any any headway then you can um you can you can consider maybe I'm maybe I'm completely crazy maybe I've absolutely lost my mind and, and everything I see is um, and the way I perceive it isn't true maybe my perception of reality is inaccurate thoroughly and I've completely lost my mind and everything I see on the outside I'm just so um, uh, thoroughly self-absorbed that that's all I see everywhere is myself you know and everyone else and so the fault that I'm finding in them, it's really, this is a, it goes from being a bummer to being a joyful opportunity mm-hmm. to move forward in your own path, you know? So rather than seeing someone and being like, darn it, I wish they would change. Right. You say, wow, this is a chance for me to have more, well, I guess it, like that word faith you were talking about. Like if I had faith, you know, in, you know, and like you said, you, uh, you want to believe there's a God and God is good or perfect, you know? If you had faith in God, and, and who's perfect, you know, you wouldn't be war- you wouldn't believe in the imperfection that you see. Well, maybe I should ask, you know, would you, would you, would you, would you have faith in the in, in the imperfections, or would you ha- would you believe in injustice? Would you believe in cruelty? You know, would you believe in um, in the e- in the evil and sin? You know, would you believe that's actually real, or would you think maybe that's maybe I. Um, that's just what, what I'm seeing because of my own state, and I'm not seeing reality. You know, maybe what's reality is perfect. Maybe reality is perfect, and the problem is the illusion that we see. You know, the the, 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 uh, the crazy state we're in. You know, so then it just gets to be this yeah. really wonderful um, opportunity, everything, to um, to let go of what you know and what you've become, and and anything you think you are or anything good you think you've done. Let go of everything and just say, I have absolutely no idea who I am. I have absolutely no idea where I am. I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm a, I'm a blind fool. I'm an arrogant fool. 
That's all I am, is a blind, arrogant fool who doesn't know anything and, and, and stomps around as if I know everything. So please forgive me. Please, 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 please forgive me. For, please forgive me and, 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 uh, and you and completely take everything from me. Take it all and take everything, you know. And then you're peaceful because you have nothing to worry about because <laughs> you're not, cause you're not uh, trying to perpetuate anything anymore. You're just uh, falling down and surrender, you know, and... Uh, and and you're in your intent upon discovering the truth, not on defending um, your little fortress, you know, or or perpetuating your um, your blind agenda, you know. Uh, and you're completely uh, at peace because you know, something within you starts to wake up and say, absolutely everything's okay, everything is okay, everything is perfect. Even the flaws that I see, I you know, are are perfect flaws. You know, even even the craziness that I'm steeped in is is exactly right. You know, uh, but you don't have to believe any of that. You know, it's just a different way of uh, um, of understanding the state we've come to than than what you're driving at by saying like, do we have to unite people? Do we have to help anyone? Do we have to teach anyone or anything you might think you need to do or I need to do? You know, it's like, no, it's all finished. You know, it's just our our mind, uh, you know, seeing an, in, you know, incomplete picture and then jumping in and saying, oh, wait, 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 you know, you, you forgot there. What about, it's like, wait, wait, you don't see the whole thing. Hold it, slow down, you know. Can, can I find peace in that? Because I'm a Mr. Fix-It. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I really am. I, I mean, I, I see what I think is from anything from the amount of time you left the light on to my kids, mm -hmm. right? Sure. And try to teach them and fix them <laughs> so they will not spend more of my money, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, to the point of abused women. And I mean, you know, you know, I mean, I'm trying to think of something 180 degrees away from trying to save three cents with a light on, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and I want to... I want to walk in and I want to fix it still, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and I can tell you that while I want to be a peace-filled man, I don't think I am a peace-filled man. Yeah. Totally. I mean, there, there's something in me that I'm getting more comfortable in, in my skin and in my shoes, but I'm still searching like a bear, you know, scratching at every tree, coming to you with microphones and saying what we're saying. You know, because this this is nowhere near where I thought the conversation might or could go. Because it isn't. I, I guess I'll just say it isn't typical. But it, but it is. But but I but I say genuinely. Can can I find you found peace in that place where you don't have to see all the injustices and think I know what's wrong and I'm the one who's going to be able to at least maybe not fix it totally, but to be able to address it and and bring awareness to others so. We, the collective we, the collective us, the collective soul, can fix it or help fix it. Well, I don't mean to discourage you from, uh, <laughs> yeah. you know, from, tr uh, from trying to to improve anything, and certainly not, you know, to make. I don't mean to make any sweeping statement that, oh yeah, women who are abused are that's cool, you know, right. no problem, you know, deal with it or anything, you know. Right. Um, and I had no intention of saying it anything like that for anyone else's life or even about your kids and the three cents it might cost you for them to leave their the light on right um but for me to take stock of my own life and to say the way this fella in my band let me down as right. i perceive it or the way okay. my dad hurt my feelings as i understand or the way you know and, okay. and to take stock of anyone who's hurt me right and to say well for my life this is an opportunity to um move forward in my journey and to find a love that is unconditional and a, um, and a contentment that isn't yeah, dependent on things be going right on the outside but going in search of a um, my mom said there's a sanctuary inside of us or like a uh, heaven inside of us mm -hmm. um, I think that and it's and, well then uh, it's not to say that you don't have to you shouldn't take action or to, I don't mean to discourage you yep. but you know it's Maybe even while your body takes action and, and, and goes to a protest or writes a check to a charity or your mouth tells your kid, 
turn the darn light off, won't you? Yeah. I told you a thousand times. You right. know? E e even if you're physically on the outside, you're doing exactly the same thing. Uh, inwardly, you know, you uh, you can be searching. Even as your body does that, let your you know you let your thoughts and your and your consciousness dwell or search for a place that um, is doing it in out of um, love and peacefulness and gratitude mm -hmm. um, and trust and not um, anxiety and grasping right. and desire and divi and division you know but let it be done out of unity do it to your own life you know tell your own heart you know quit wasting you know or tell your tell your own um, tone of voice quit abusing women you know right because you might not hit a woman but you probably say nasty things to your wife sometimes yep. or like yep. or like to fail to appreciate her you yes, know exactly. so rather than saying people shouldn't abuse their wives you know you, you start to say it to your own heart like don't abuse don't say anything to put my wife down don't say anything don't even take a tone of voice right you know but only ever uh um you know you're i guess you're all, you're, you're always uh, correcting yourself you know and not trying to fix it on the outside. So, mm -hmm. but I don't know. I don't. I, I don't yeah. know uh, any of this stuff. I don't know. Yeah, this isn't direction I meant for the con for the conversation to take either. But, um, but it's that's right because we got to sell more records and tickets. No, oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah. right. No. Check out our new CD, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, well, you said something. Well, let me just ask straight up: If we're searching for this unconditional love, is that is that is can only God provide that? Well, it can't. Or is that where it derives from? That's bring me more of my question. I don't know. Um, uh, hesitant to use the the, the, the G word. Oh, right, the G word. No know, problem. On account of uh, you know someone, it's it's a power kind of a powerful word to, right. that we okay. can throw around and say like, you know what you got to do. God will do this, and then uh, we don't really. I don't know uh, anything about that. Okay. Uh, Someone might already, we might hear that word and it opens up a whole world of associations of like what they've been told God is and uh, what they've read God is and say, man, that's, that's just trouble. That's full of, you know, judgment and, and, right. uh, and, and self-righteousness and arrogance, you know, that, but because we're not, because ultimately we're not searching for a word, you know, say God is this, you know, but we're searching for a reality, you know, or a, a reality of unconditional love. Well, I, Seem, that seems like that seems like a good uh, yeah it seems like a good good place you know to find that to find that love but he, he still loves just a word and you, you reach an end to language when you talk about these things so yeah. you know again maybe I'm I don't mean to keep trying to duck your questions yeah. you know but I, but that's why I don't I don't so much do the interviews anymore as said right. boy I, I can't go there I can tell you about our bus or I can tell you about our you know maybe even these songs I can kind of bull crap and answer about bull. you know how it came together or you know well, what I had for breakfast you know what you said <laughs> you know